Mac McGowan is from Texas, where he lives with his wife and five-month-old daughter. But for the last week and the next couple of weeks, he's living all alone on Brunette Island. That Morning, guys. Um... Another beautiful day here in Newfoundland. That is a small island in Fortune Bay where the only inhabitants are rabbits, caribou, ptarmigan, and moose. Until now, that is. I reached Mac McGowan by Skype somewhere on the island. Well, Mac, um, how are you doing today? I'm uh, doing pretty good. There's a storm blowing in uh, tomorrow, so just trying to get all set up for that. Now, you're from Texas. Uh, how did you end up on Brunette Island in the middle of Fortune Bay? You know, sometimes you do things and you make decisions and then you end up someplace and you, you ask yourself that question. But but basically, I was just supposed to provide the technology to make this possible. And uh, somebody with a lot more experience doing this sort of thing was supposed to actually be on the island. But uh, he wasn't able to make it. And there was about a year's worth of work involved in this. So, uh, you know, I've been hunting and fishing my whole life. So I said, what the heck? You know, I'll give it a shot. So, so here I am. So you're originally the the comms guy, right? The communications guy who was going to set up all the all the oh, yeah. communications My devices. company, uh, Top Drive Communications, works mainly in oil and gas, and we set up uh, high-speed internet and some really, really remote places around the world. So this is right up our alley. So what's the idea uh, behind uh, you being there? So it's, it's two-part, right? First, we're testing the, the technology and the equipment and seeing if we can actually maintain a stream and then the second is to see if anybody would actually watch a show about a guy on an island uh streaming for you know four to eight to 24 hours a day so um that's kind of what i'm doing here and how is it going are people watching surprisingly yes i don't think i'm all that interesting <laughs> and maybe half of those people are kinfolk but uh we're getting a lot of locals to watch, and uh, more and more people are, are seem to be enjoying me uh, wandering around the island trying to find food and shelter. So um, that part has been really fun to see how people are enjoying the enjoying my daily activities. Okay, so I'm interested, as always, in the food aspect. How are you feeding yourself, Mac? Um, so, like I said, I've got a five-month-old daughter, and uh, the original idea was that I was going to live strictly off the land and still be able to hike around with all this gear and make all these shots. Um, and about the second day, if you watch the videos, I realize that that's really impossible. If I'm if I'm having to hike up mountains all day long, I've got to intake some calories. So um, I did bring some emergency food with me because I always planned on coming home. Um, like I said, I've got a family. So I'm kind of balancing between eating emergency rations, of which I don't have a lot, and then trying to forage local food. So I've been down here in the coastline eating mussels and oyster weed as much as I can because I don't I have a, a finite supply, right, of emergency supplies. And if I burn them all up and a boat can't get to me, then I'm a, then I'm in a real pickle instead of just a, just a show, right? Now I, I, I don't know if anybody's told you this. Uh, they once tried to introduce uh, bison to Burnett Island, and they all died I heard off. That. They all died off. I so know. Um, does that worry you? Um. <laughs> I can see why they died off. There's not a lot out here. Now the caribou have done really, really well. And uh, so I don't know. It's a shame the buffalo didn't make it. It would have been great to see some. You've got a, a five-year-old, uh, obviously a family back home in Texas. How lonesome do you get when the fog and the darkness roll in? Uh, it's pretty lonely. Um, she's actually five-month-old. Uh, okay. So she's our first daughter. And... Uh, I haven't been gone that long, but I swear when I see pictures, she looks like she's changing. That's probably just because I'm her dad, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you definitely, when you're out here by yourself, you really start to focus on what's important. Um, and that's it's definitely your family. Everything else that you've got back home, it's a distraction that you think is so immediate. Uh, it's, it's just not out here. Out here, it's all about family and faith, you know? Now, now Mac, tell me, I guess, last of all, how do people get to watch you? I uh, go to Castaway dot live and that'll put you on our facebook page and uh i'll be streaming every day so until when when are you off the island um we're looking for a good window of weather sometime hopefully before the 31st i really want to get home and see my daughter in her halloween costume it's her first halloween so but again that all depends on the weather i'm having some some gear issues uh, obviously always food issues so i might have to come off earlier we'll, we'll see i'm trying not to but it's, a, it's just a game of, of endurance at this point.